challenges and it should be some great fun. I've just been playing my instrument here. This is the tuba and this is the, the lowest instrument in the brass family. Now um, the, the brass family starts nice and high with the smaller instruments like the, the trumpet and works its way down through the horn and the trombone and ends up with the tuba which has got the most pipes of all the brass instruments. So the golden rule is the, the bigger the instrument the lower the sound is because the vibrations can be a lot wider and the wider the vibrations the lower the sound you see so let's see how low the tuba can play <laughs> sort of four fundamental parts really we've got the main bit which is the mouthpiece this is where a lot of the work is done on the instrument because we create this buzz and we put it through the mouthpiece and can you see how there's a little hole at the end of it there it directs that buzz right into that hole and what that directed through that little hole does is it sends it through this quite small pipe which goes right into the instrument through the valve block this is where the, uh, the valves for the instrument work which help us change the notes and then can you see how it goes around and around and around and gradually the pipes get bigger and bigger and bigger which allow the vibrations to go wider and wider and wider and it comes out of this little part of the instrument which is called the bell which sends that music or those, all those sounds right around the room and it allows us to make some fantastic sounds. The tuba is a brilliant instrument, you can have a lot of fun with it. It's a great, it's a great bit of fun. So that's a little bit about the instrument and maybe you can remember some of the things we've spoken about, about, about the various pieces of equipment, the mouthpiece, the tubing, the valve block and the bell. Maybe you can remember that because maybe at some point over the next few weeks there might be a little quiz, so worth, worth bearing in mind. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand over to my colleague who's going to do you a, a little, give you a little lesson on the notation in music. So that should be really good fun. Thank you. When you're writing music down, this note here is called a crotchet. We're going to use the word walk because this is the speed that we are going to do the crotchets for one beat each. So look at my feet. It goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One two, three, four. If you can do that all together, those are our walk, 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 walk crotchets. And that's what they look like when you write them down. And step two to this is learning about these, which are called quavers, just like the crisps. 
and these ones we're going to talk about as being jogging, 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 jogging. So you've got jogging to go with each one of those blobs there at the bottom to make your paired quavers. So it goes jogging, 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 jogging. That's how fast those are. Okay, they're twice the speed of your walk, 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 jogging, 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 jogging because obviously jogging is faster than walk. So now you know about crotchets and paired quavers and you know about walk and jogging, we're gonna try and put those two steps together. You need to watch my feet first of all, and I want you to see if you can copy my feet. Walk, 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 walk. Four, three, two, stop. Okay, then copy my hands. I'm going to do the jogging with my hands. Jogging, 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 jogging. Four, three, two, stop. Okay, that's both of those things at the same time. So we're going to try it first of all, and see if you can do half the class doing one thing and half the class doing the other thing. I'll just let your teacher carry on with that for me and then I'll come back to you for the next step of the lesson. So the next part of the lesson is being able to put those two things together by yourself. We're going to do the walk, 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 walk first. Ready? Steady. Off we go. Walk, 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 walk. Add in your hands. Jogging, 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 jogging. Four, three, two, stop. Well, that was great. Thank you very much. Now, the best, uh, I suppose the best thing about um, playing music is when we get to play music together. And it's a really, really important thing. The whole the whole thing about playing music together, it just cannot be beaten. And it's such an important thing to do. So if you ever, ever get the chance to take up a musical instrument and, and study it properly, just work really hard. And then eventually you'll find yourself in a situation where you'll be able to come along to a band or, a, or an orchestra or, or, or any group. And it's such a magical thing that I really, really recommend it. Some of the greatest friends that you'll ever, ever make will be in a musical group. And some of the greatest times you'll have trips, trips abroad, competitions. It's just fantastic. Now, just to show you what can be possible when uh, musicians get together, we're going to play now a little recording of a tune called That's A Plenty. And this features some of our brass teachers and some of our better players who, who have got together to record this fantastic jazzy little tune because we can play all sorts of different styles of music. And that's something else that's really great. So we really look forward to listening to this and listen to it really carefully. That's a plenty.
Wasn't that wonderful? What a brilliant piece of music. Can you see how much fun we can have doing that type of thing? Isn't it absolutely fantastic? It's really, really good, isn't it? Okay, um, what we're going to do now, and we're just going to have a little recap, just a little tiny quiz. It's nothing you have to write down. Let's just see if you can remember some of the things that we've spoken about today. So first, first question, what was my instrument called? What's it called? Next question, what are the four, four main bits of my instrument? What are they called? Next question, what is sound made up of? What is sound? What is sound? And the last question, what was the piece that we played together? Quite a jazzy piece, wasn't it? What was it called? Extra question, what are some of the groups that brass instruments can play in? I didn't give you all the answers here, maybe you can think of some yourself. What are some of the groups that brass instruments play in? Okay, so over the next few weeks, this, we're going to be setting you a few challenges and we're going to find a way, hopefully, to get you doing a little bit of playing. We've got a few ideas on how we might be able to get you to do a little bit of playing, not necessarily with your instrument. So that's, you'll see what happens. It could be quite good fun. But we thought a nice little project to leave you with um, at the end of today's session would be just something slightly different. Now, as we know, anyone who's been doing the Arts Awards in their school, which I know some people have been doing, and people will know this generally as well, all the arts are kind of linked in a way. I mean, it's not exactly the same thing. But, you know, if you're quite arty when it comes to making music, there might be a good chance that even if you can't draw, for instance, you would appreciate great drawing. I certainly do. I'm not a fantastic drawer by any means. Pretty bad, actually. But I really, really appreciate anyone who can do it really, really well. Same to go, same with dance. Uh, I'm no dancer, believe me. But when I see great dancers, it might be doing even the TikTok dances or the, or the shuffle or the hip hop dancing. I absolutely love it. I really appreciate what they're doing, even on, even on Strictly. Really fantastic thing. I wonder what other sort of... Um, arts there is as well because we've talked spoke about music spoke about dance we spoke about art how about drama drama is a great art isn't it and one, of the, one of the classic arts drama anyone who can really really act really well remember all the words and put emotion and feeling into it it's really important isn't it really important don't be afraid over the next few weeks to use the power that you've got and certainly something that i never had when i was growing up and that is the power of the internet. Get yourself on YouTube. Never mind listening, watching videos with Dan TDM and all those YouTubers. Why don't you think, well, I'm going to look into dance. Or I'm going to look into music. Or I might look into drama. And on all that will be there on, on YouTube. It's all there for the taking. Some of it won't be as good as other stuff. But you'll soon find out which is the good stuff. Why don't you research a little bit about music and what you like? You've got to love what you're doing and you never, just never know. So sometimes just listening to the same music all the time, that's great. I mean, there's, there's, I've got favourites as well. But maybe you should think, right, well, I'm going to look into classical music or I'm going to look into jazz. 
or I'm going to look into hip hop. You know, I, I did. I discovered hip hop a good few years ago, and it's something that stayed with me. I know I don't look like your average sort of hip hop fan, but I, I would know a lot of hip hop artists, and I would have a lot of those albums. I really would. And it's a great thing. It's absolutely an amazing skill. So use that power that you've got. Go and research these acts and see what you like, see what you don't like. It's really, really good. So we are going to leave you today with a, with a little challenge and it's maybe something that you can try and do. And this is um, a drawing cartoons. And we're going to start off with a, a cartoon of a trumpet. So it's only short. So just, just follow this little video through and get a bit of, get a paper, get a pen and see it how see how good you can make it. You never know. You might even be able to colour it in as well. So it just needs a sheet of paper and a pen. So I really hope you've enjoyed our little video today and, and taken part in some of the uh, challenges that we've set. And we're going to have one every week and we'll just see if we can build on it and, and do some really good stuff. So remember, when you're doing anything arty or, or music, the main thing is to have fun when you're doing it. It's meant to be for fun. So have a lot of fun when you're doing it and really enjoy what you're researching and getting into. Okay, so uh, we will see you next week for another video. Have a great week. Bye.